A vast opening, wider than 60 Earths, has materialized on the sun's surface, emitting high-speed solar wind directly towards Earth. Identified as a coronal hole, this immense dark region, located near the sun's equator, has allowed an exceptionally swift stream of solar wind to head in our direction. Scientists find the size and alignment of this temporary gap, which exceeds 60 Earths in width, unprecedented in the current solar cycle stage. This colossal dark patch, recognized as a coronal hole, developed close to the sun's equator on December 2nd. It rapidly expanded to a maximum width of approximately 497,000 miles, 800,000 kilometers, within a 24-hour period. Since December 4th, the opening has been directly facing Earth, initially anticipated to induce a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm with potential consequences such as radio blackouts and intense auroral displays, the solar wind's intensity has been less than expected. Consequently, the resulting storm has been mild, G1 so far, with the possibility of auroras at high latitudes. The duration of this sun hole's existence remains uncertain, but previous coronal holes have persisted beyond a single solar rotation, 27 days, as per NOAA. Nevertheless, the opening is expected to rotate away from Earth soon. Coronal holes emerge when the sun's magnetic fields suddenly open, allowing the sun's upper surface contents to flow away as solar wind, states the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, no AA. These dark patches, appearing cooler and less dense than surrounding plasma, are similar to sunspots in their dark appearance, yet they are invisible without ultraviolet light. The accelerated solar wind from coronal holes, surpassing normal solar wind speeds, often provokes disturbances in Earth's magnetic shield, leading to geomagnetic storms, no way explains. The most recent coronal hole, which emerged in March, resulted in the most potent geomagnetic storm on Earth in over six years. Despite solar activity intensifying as the sun approaches its roughly 11-year solar cycle peak, termed the solar maximum, this newfound massive coronal hole defies expectations. Coronal holes, typically more frequent during solar minimum, occasionally manifest during solar maximum, yet they are usually situated near the sun's poles, not close to the equator. The sudden occurrence of this substantial hole near the equator raises questions about the current solar dynamics. Recent weeks have witnessed heightened solar activity, including a significant sunspot archipelago emerging on November 18th, comprising at least five sunspot groups unleashing numerous solar storms into space. Additionally, on November 25, a powerful canyon of fire eruption near the sun's equator produced a coronal mass ejection, CME, leading to rare orange auroras on Earth. A near X-class solar flare on November 28th generated a cannibal CME, resulting in a geomagnetic storm and vibrant auroras at lower latitudes over the weekend. This surge in solar activity, signaling an impending solar maximum, contrasts with the unexpected appearance of the massive coronal hole near the equator. While solar maximum is generally associated with heightened sunspot activity, the current observations present a peculiar scenario. The unpredictable nature of solar events and their potential risks to Earth's technology and inhabitants highlight the significance of space weather forecasting. Recognizing these hazards, NASA has allocated a five-year funding grant for CLEAR, a space weather forecasting center at the University of Michigan. The center aims to provide accurate and timely forecasts of space weather events, particularly those involving solar energetic particles, SEPs, which can pose threats to technology and human health. Solar storms, including flares, eruptions, and coronal mass ejections release substantial energy into the solar system, impacting space and Earth. SEPs, consisting of high-speed electrons and protons, can cause damage to electronics and sensors, presenting a significant obstacle to long-term space travel. Recognizing the urgent need for accurate space weather forecasts, NASA awarded a grant to the University of Michigan to establish the Clear Space Weather Center of Excellence. This center aims to combine physics-based models and machine learning techniques to enhance the prediction of solar flares and CMEs, providing timely and reliable forecasts for mitigating potential damage caused by these space weather events. The newfound sunspot region, covering around 125,000 miles, 
200,000 kilometers and referred to as a solar archipelago, has generated concerns about potential solar flares, including X-class flares and coronal mass ejections. These solar events may lead to geomagnetic storms, radio blackouts, and spectacular aurora displays on Earth. The heightened solar activity, including the appearance of multiple sunspot groups on the sun's southern hemisphere, aligns with predictions of an approaching solar maximum expected to commence next year. Scientists have revised their predictions for the solar cycle, indicating that the solar maximum will occur sooner and have a longer duration than previously anticipated. The peak of Solar Cycle 25's activity, referred to as Solar Maximum, is now expected to happen in 2024, a year earlier than initially estimated. This update, provided by experts at NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, suggests that the peak will occur between January and October 2024, presenting a shift in timing, intensity, and duration compared to 2019 projections. The solar cycle, a roughly 11-year period of solar activity influenced by the sun's magnetic field, is characterized by the frequency and intensity of visible sunspots on the sun's surface. Forecasts regarding the timing of solar maximum rely on historical sunspot records, advanced statistics, and models of the solar dynamo, which represents the flow of ionized gases within the sun, generating its magnetic field. Mark Meesh, a solar scientist, highlighted the significance of this updated forecast, emphasizing its expected accuracy and its unique feature of continuous monthly updates based on new sunspot observations. The adjusted prediction is especially noteworthy for enthusiasts of solar events, as it aligns with the total solar eclipse scheduled for April 8, 2024, occurring near the time of solar maximum. During such eclipses, heightened solar activity can make the sun's outer atmosphere, corona, more visible, allowing observers to potentially witness solar prominences, large plasma loops appearing as bright pink spots at the sun's edges. Accurate predictions of solar activity hold crucial importance due to the potential impact of geomagnetic storms triggered by coronal mass ejections on electrical grids, GPS signals, satellites, and the safety of airline workers and astronauts. Timely forecasts empower industries to implement protective measures, mitigating risks to equipment and personnel. While Earth's magnetic field provides a natural shield, disturbances during intense space weather events, more common during solar maximum, can compromise this defense. Geomagnetic storms may penetrate the magnetosphere, resulting in widespread disruptions such as radio and power blackouts. The 1989 blackout in Quebec, Canada, caused by a coronal mass ejection and solar flare serves as an example. Despite the potential dangers, not all magnetosphere interferences are harmful. Strong solar activity can produce stunning auroras, visible as the northern lights, aurora borealis, in the northern hemisphere and the southern lights, aurora australis, in the southern hemisphere. These captivating displays are triggered by energetic particles colliding with Earth's atmosphere. In addition to their aesthetic appeal, auroras serve as indicators of solar activity, providing valuable information to scientists and enthusiasts alike. The recent discovery of an expansive coronal hole near the sun's equator, emitting accelerated solar wind towards Earth, and the emergence of a colossal sunspot region on the sun's near side, have raised intriguing questions about the current state of solar dynamics. The coronal hole, wider than 60 Earths, defies expectations by appearing near the equator, during a phase when such features are typically observed near the poles. Scientists are closely monitoring its effects on Earth's magnetic shield, as initial predictions of a moderate geomagnetic storm have so far resulted in a milder event. Simultaneously, a massive sunspot region, encompassing at least six groups and spanning over 15 times the width of Earth, has emerged on the sun's surface. This phenomenon, considered one of the largest and most densely populated in over a decade, has already unleashed numerous solar flares including C-class and M-class, with the potential for more significant X-class flares. The sunspot's emergence aligns with expectations of an approaching solar maximum, characterized by increased sunspot activity. These unpredictable solar events emphasize the critical importance of advanced space weather forecasting. The potential impacts on Earth, including geomagnetic storms, radio blackouts, 
and vibrant Aurora displays underscore the need for accurate predictions to mitigate risks to technology and human activities in space. The establishment of the Clear Space Weather Center of Excellence at the University of Michigan, funded by NASA, reflects the ongoing efforts to enhance our understanding and forecasting capabilities regarding solar activity. In summary, the dual occurrences of an unusual equatorial coronal hole and an extensive sunspot region underscore the dynamic nature of solar behavior. Ongoing research and forecasting initiatives play a crucial role in comprehending these phenomena and preparing for potential space weather events.